My name is Aubrey Muntz. We're here at the National Day of Prayer at the State Capitol, and I am speaking with... I'm Tony Rose, State Director for the Congressional Prayer Caucus Foundation. Right, and... I'm Peggy Foster. I'm with Arkansas Intercessory Prayer Network. All right, fantastic. Pleasure to meet you both. Um, so, we, we heard some powerful words from Reverend Hunt today in his address. What is your initial thought and reaction to the GDI movement and what Arthur is proposing? Well, I got to say, at first I was a little bit taken aback. I was like, I'm not going to look at that website. <laughs> that sounds wrong. <laughs> but, you know, um, the message is so on point is that these seven things that God hates have coalesced into all of our governments. Uh, from from city to school boards on up to Washington, D.C. It's literally infected our governments, and that has created uh, terrible distension and, and uh, the sin that comes out of these seven things that God hates that's uh, permeated some of our legislators, some of our bureaucrats, some of our constitutional appointees, uh, Prayer is the only thing, Jesus is the only thing that's going to yes. wash us clean of these infections. Okay. Yes. Powerful words there. Um, I was really impressed with the statement that he made about God being a God of love, yet he said these were the things that he hated. And I think that it's very important for us to begin to realize how much these need to be purged from our society, and the only way that it's going to be with people are made knowledgeable Absolutely. if if they're um, you know everything is kind of a well um, everybody has their own truth uh, they have what they think God approves of or if they approve of it or not but God has his standard and it definitely needs to be made known and that it is made known clearly thinking about the book and what Arthur is laying out are there any of those seven you think should shoot right to the top of the list like what what should be the first priorities that we need to be looking at out of that I don't know I think it's the um, it's a combination of lying and haughtiness yeah. you know and those all of them tied together but one leads to the other and if, if, um, if you've turned from Jesus even a little bit and you've turned from his teachings and a lie works for you once mm -hmm. and then you build on that yeah. and then you think that uh, the haughtiness sets in and you think you can get away with it.